good day to you all out there and welcome back to No Man's Sky. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to make a donut. But not just any donut, oh no, we are talking jam donuts. As always, let's take a look at what we're going to need ingredients wise and then let's break it down on how you can find each individual resource. To make a simple lump and donut, you're going to need the following items. One food processor, clarified oil, dough and processed sugar. As an example, I'm going to craft four. First and foremost, your food processor can be obtained from the space anomaly under the construction terminal. This is a portable piece of equipment and can be placed anywhere in the field or in your base. Both myself and Kill Bill 74 have dedicated one such base to cooking only and we've called it the bakery. As you can see, we are already prepared and we have already built a couple of food processors. Firstly, let's make some dough. We're going to need this for our donuts. This can be done one of two ways. Most planets grow heptaloid wheat in the wild. You can find these by looking through your visor and tagging the symbol that looks like a piece of wheat. The alternative and more lengthy process to gain wheat would be to find a cold planet and harvest yourself some frost crystal. Frost crystal can be placed into a food processor and refined to make glass grains. This is also good for making glass, but we'll save this for another base building video. Once you've refined your frost crystal into glass grains, pick up from the output slot and reinsert the glass grains back into the input. This should in turn make flour. Next we're going to need some wild yeast. This can be obtained by harvesting from a gut root flower or heading out into the wild, finding some creatures and crafting some pellets for them out of carbon. This will make the creatures poop. Once they poop, pick it up and you have theseum. Head back to the food processor and place the theseum into the input slot. This will make wild yeast. Once the wild yeast has been crafted, Take it from the output slot and reinsert it back into the input slot, only this time add the flour. As you can see by combining the two, this will refine into dough. Next, let's look at making some sugar. As before, there are various ways to craft sugar in the game. I'm going to show you just a couple. One such way would be to go out into the wild and use your analysis visor to find sweet root. These will instantly refine into sugar. The alternative and more lengthy process would be to find cactus flesh. Cactus flesh can be placed into the input slot in the food processor and refined into cactus nectar. Once the cactus nectar has finished processing, you can then reinsert this back into the input slot to create sugar. Moving swiftly onwards now to our third ingredient, clarified oil. This happens to be one of my favourite processes, as it involves going out and milking creatures. To obtain the likes of milk, or apples, or berries from any creature in the game, you have to scan them first with your analysis visor. This will then let you know what their favourite type of food is. Once you've discovered this, you can craft the bait accordingly using the food processor and drop it for them to eat, like you would with the pellets. This time, however, instead of dropping poop, an option will appear for you to extract milk from the creatures. Once you've harvested a sufficient amount of milk, head back to your food processor. As before, to begin the crafting process, insert the milk into the input slot. This will make cream. Once the cream is completed, reinsert the cream back into the input slot. This will make churned butter. Now for the third and final step. To get the clarified oil, remove the churned butter stack from the output slot. Reinsert it into the input slot, only pick it up once more and press the button that prompts you to half the stack. Stack the other half underneath the first half. You should now be able to make clarified oil. Now for the final step. Take the clarified oil from the output slot and reinsert it into the input slot. Add your dough and your sugar. You should now be able to craft 
a lump and donuts. But there's one thing missing. Jam. Jam can be crafted one of two ways, either via the use of graberries, which are grown in the wild, again, repeat the process with your visor to harvest these, or the far more lengthy process, but the more convenient process to save you hunting for numerous berries. Take a stack of cactus flesh and insert it into the food processor to craft cactus nectar. Refine the cactus nectar into sugar. Once you've refined the sugar, put the sugar back into the input slot and add more cactus nectar. This will make cactus jelly, or jam. Once you've made the cactus jelly, reinsert this back into the input slot. You get the idea. You can now add your lump and donuts to make jam donuts. It should be noted too that a jam donut is worth considerably more units than a donut without jam. Other donuts and other cakes will stack in a total of 50. In this case, we've just made four. Food processing is an interesting concept. It was added to the game with the Beyond update in 2019. Once you've crafted food, you can use it for a couple of purposes. Certain things such as life support boosts, jetpack boosts, or you can visit the anomaly and visit the Gordon Ramsay of space and sell him the food you've crafted in exchange for nanites. But be wary, he's critical of what you craft. Where's the lamb sauce? Both myself and Kill Bill 74 would like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching the video and we hope it's been of some use to you. We aim to publish more content and how-to videos in the near future, so subscribe for more content. See you in the next video.